But anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, today, big, big day. LeBron going back to Cleveland. Let me just hit on that real quick. Please, Cavs fans, if you ever did anything perfect in your life, this is the moment. This is what you can do. Let me just relate to a relationship breaking up. And I'm sure you, some of you out there have broken up before in your life. But you know what? The greatest thing you could do in a relationship is not give it attention. One that's but went bad. Think about it. Girlfriend, boyfriend, either way you want to look at it. You get out there, you guys been together for seven great years, and then all of a sudden one of you just pull a cold-hearted move and just like break up on you and you you didn't even know what you didn't even see it coming. It, it just hit you out of nowhere. I said, and then after about six, seven months, you see that person again. You've been thinking of all the things you want to say to them. You've been thinking of all the things you want to do. You, you, you know, you're like, I'm going to throw some warning in his face. Or I'm going to go get me a hotter girlfriend and show her off in front of her. Or, uh, or I'm going to just, you know, I'm going I'm to send her text messages. I'm, you're going to do all of this stuff, right? Because you, you're hurt. It's been killing you. What, you know, basically what happened. So it just kills you. But I'm telling you. There is nothing greater in the world than to show somebody that they don't exist. Just show them that they don't matter. You're a non-entity. You're somebody, you know, we're, I'm, I'm, I don't even know that you really exist on earth. In other words, you're somebody I used to know. I think about that. Somebody I used to know. The greatest thing the Cav fans can do, I know it's not going to happen. I'm going to ask you guys to pass it on, tweet it to people, let, it, let other people know quickly before the game starts because right now it's only about, you know, 1.30 in the afternoon right now before LeBron starts to play in Cleveland. But think about this. They go through all of this. They introduce Wade. They introduce Bosh. You know, boo Wade because he's, he's corporate. And, uh, and boo, boo the who you want to boo. But then all of a sudden, the announcer go, number six for the Miami Heat, LeBron James. And they're going to give him a lackluster announcement. They ain't going to pump him up. Dead silence. Dead freaking silence. In other words, we didn't hear you. We didn't see you. Move on to the next person. Because this person is somebody we used to know, and we don't even know he exists anymore. So what you get from us when you make a basket, no booze, just dead silence. You get introduced, no booze, just dead silence. Anything you do, just dead silence. In other words, it's like you just push the fast forward button every time you touch the ball, every time they say LeBron James. You just, that's something you just skip over. You don't get, see, you know, just like Shaq said, oh, if you write a bad sign about me, you're going to show me a sign of respect. No, you're just somebody we used to know. So that's all I got to say about that and let it go. Uh, it'd be great if they did it. You, imagine that on Sports Center. LeBron James, nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it would be awesome. Now, the other thing is, quick to hit on this uh, Phil Jackson. You need to apologize to the basketball gods because they wasn't happy with you messing with Miami because, you know, you should stay focused on the Lakers. And the basketball gods are trying to remind you right now that, hey, you know, there's a time to get back and get Miami. Wait to, wait to there, wait to there your competition. You didn't do it, Phil. You had to go and make your nose in there. And ever since then, guess what? Guess who and lost four games in a row? Now you got the attention. Maybe you just wanted the attention on the Lakers. Okay. 
it, you should have kept rolling, you know, until you got Andrew Bynum back and everything like that. But now you had to say something. So go back and apologize to the basketball guys and uh, and kind of let that go. And I think you'll be all right after that. But anyway, that's just, a, you know, give and go fast break. Hey, may all your jump shots hit the bottom of the net. Number six, LeBron James. Life, love, and hoop forever. Peace.